everybody and welcome back to Michael's Diamond World and today I am going to be working on the library once again you can see it right over there it's looking really nice now uh, last episode I did a little bit of work on doing uh, kind of like the little study rooms in there and off camera, I did some work where I extended out the wall so that the study rooms actually fit in now. And I also got some bookshelves. So I crafted some more bookshelves so I can add those in. But before I go over there, I need to pick out a dog. Last episode, we got a brand new dog added uh, to the doghouse here, which is Dig. So I got Dig last episode, I've got him his own sign here, I've got him his little kind of like bed area, and I even got his, him his own bone in here. So let's go ahead and push the button here and see which dog I'm going to take with me today. It's Scooby! Where's Scooby at? Scooby's right here. So I'll go ahead and take Scooby, and I'm going to go ahead and grab up some food, because I kind of need some. So I'm going to grab a few pork chops here so that I can eat some pork chops. And then maybe I'll give Scooby some later on in the episode. But let's go over to the library and I'll show you what I did. Alright, so here's the library. I did some extending in here so that the wall goes all the way to the end here. And I've got room to put our little screen. Which I was thinking about bringing this down a block. So if I go, go ahead and grab this, put a block, I think it needs to go right here, and then put this in. I was thinking that might look a little bit better, having it like in the middle of the wall. And then we've got, oh, I have to add in the blocks over here. But I've got my little whiteboard here, uh, where we could like write things down. So there's that. And this is in the center now. Yes, okay, this is actually in the center. So the table's good. Scooby's apparently testing it out. Make sure it holds up well. I'll go show you the other one, uh, which this room is pretty much the same thing. I do need to change this, and I also need to get the seat set up. So that's one of the... Why did that break? I want to break this. There we go. Uh, I want to get the seat set up in here. I also need to finish extending this out. And then I'm going to work on doing the elevator. Do I have any more wood on me? Oh, I've got a whole bunch of wood. Here we go. So I'll go ahead and put that down. And I need to make... Why is there a sheep? Hello? Are you here to uh, study? Why, why are you trying to get in the study room? We're not open yet. Apparently this sheep really wants to get in there and study. Uh, we'll let him stay there. I do need to get my bookshelves, which I put right here in this chest. So I'll go ahead and grab those up later you know we'll, we'll put them in now so let's go ahead and grab the bookshelves here i'll go ahead and put the wool back in the chest because i don't think i'm gonna need that for anything so i'm gonna build these up should i do three blocks i probably have enough to do all three blocks so i think i'm gonna do that this is gonna go three blocks high i could even build it all the way to the ceiling but i don't think i want to do that so i'm just gonna grab this back and if I have extras, I can actually put the bookshelves back in the other houses, which I do have some extras. I've got six. I don't think that's going to be enough to finish these buildings over here. But this is where I got the bookshelves last episode. So I took them from this house. So I have to make some more of those so I can get them back to normal. But I think this looks really good. So if you're coming from over here, you can see the books in the window. Hello everybody, this is me from the future. So, for some reason, the rest of the video, uh, the audio decided to just give up for some reason. But the video is still good. So, I'm going to go ahead and just do kind of like a little voiceover for the rest of the video to kind of explain what is happening. Because there's some interesting things that go on. So, right now, I'm just working on setting up the library and adding in all the lecterns in for the villager jobs, which went pretty well. And then I got into the technical bit with the elevator. And that's where things kind of went horribly wrong. A lot, a lot of things went wrong. Uh, but for the lecterns, I've decided to put four lecterns over on the side by the bookshelves. And then I'm going to put two in the front. 
so that I can hopefully get some villagers to work the front of the library. And then I also wanted to add in the chairs to the study rooms. So for the chairs, I'm just going to put one on each side of the table and I'll put like a, a two block gap in between each of the chairs. And then I'll do the same in the other room. So now that I've got the uh, the chairs set up for the study rooms, it's time to figure out how to activate the elevator. So my idea for this was to put a button inside of the elevator so that when you walk in, you press the button and then it somehow activates the observer. And the best way to do that is I thought a piston would work really well. If I just put like a piston right there, I push the button, it activates the observer and then the thing goes down. All right, so I went ahead and made a piston to try out my idea uh, to see if it even works. And now uh, the problem with this is I have to get rid of the trap door to put the piston in. So I get rid of the trap door here, the elevator goes down, and then I put the, uh, the piston in. And then I realize the button has disappeared. So the problem with the elevator is that I could put a button there and activate the piston and it'll go down. But the elevator ends up breaking the button. So I have to try and find a way of keeping the button from breaking. Now the best way to do that is to get rid of the top lock of the elevator. So I get rid of the top lock of the elevator so that way it doesn't break the button. Now doing this means I have to now bring the obsidian down. So I move the obsidian down because I'm pretty sure this slime block doesn't do anything to the elevator. All it does is it just allows the elevator to grab onto like the roof. So all I do is I just move it down. So now there's nothing really protecting you when you get on the elevator. There's like no block above your head. So you're just standing. So now that I've got the elevator figured out, I now have to find a way of covering the piston. So to do that, I thought the best way is to put a painting. So I'm going to go with the wither painting, I think looks the best. So that way it covers the piston and it all works. It should work. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and test it out here. I'm going to press the button. We start going down. And then I realize there is a creeper standing right next to the elevator who decides to blow it up and the whole thing gets destroyed. So now my elevator is broken in half and I'm stuck on the elevator. So this is where things go horribly wrong. And there's also another creeper right now in the library up there as well. So now I'm stuck down here in the cave with a broken elevator and I don't really know what to do with it because I have no other way of getting up. Luckily for me, the elevator was pretty much intact. So all I did is I just kind of like grabbed all the pieces and brought them back together. So the elevator was still had all the pieces. The creeper didn't destroy anything. It just kind of got split in half. So I brought the two pieces back together. It took me a while to get it back in the right spot. But I got the elevator working again. It goes back up to the surface. And all of the buttons, the piston idea, everything works the way it's supposed to. But I'm still trapped down here. So I still have to find a way of getting out of the hole. Because I don't have any other way out of this hole. The only way out was a ladder that I had. But I got rid of that to put in the elevator. So I just went ahead and used my scaffolding to just build back up. It was the easiest way to get out of here. All right, so I make it out of the hole, and now I'm going to do one last test to kind of show you that it still works. Uh, the elevator doesn't have, like, a roof bit like it did before, so you're now just, like, floating on this one little block. I don't think it really matters. I don't think you're going to fall off of it. Hopefully not. I've only ridden it once, but it still works, which is good. That was one of the things I was worried about is because the creeper blew it up is that... It, I didn't know if it was going to work again, but it still works. It works fine. I just have to change around uh, like the way uh, it's built up at the top, uh, but it all works. I can activate it from both the top and bottom. It goes up and down, which is pretty good. And that's pretty much it for the episode. So I worked on building a little bit of the inside of the library, adding in a bunch of the lecterns in. 
which uh, will hopefully get a bunch of librarians so that I can get those into the village. And hopefully the villagers will like it. So next episode, I'm going to be working on doing the lighting in the library and the ceiling. Because right now I don't have really a, a full ceiling at the moment. So that's what I'm going to work on next episode is getting the ceiling done. I'm also going to add in a bunch of redstone lamps in so that we can get some light. And then hopefully I can get it done because I don't think there's really anything else that I need to add other than the ceiling and the lights. I also wanted to add some candles to the front. So right now I've got torches, but I want to replace those torches with some candles. I think will make it look really cool. But that's pretty much it for today's episode. So I'm going to go and end the episode here. So make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.